order. Roll call vote. Here. 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 Present. Here. Please join us for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And I'll take a motion for the approval of the agenda. I'll make the motion as printed. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. We're moving on to the consent agenda. Um, I'll take a motion to approve the consent agenda items. I'll make that motion. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, we're going to move on to the informational session. Valedictorian and salutatorian recognition. Mr. Scherz. Mr. Scherz, if you would come forward. Good evening. Uh, proud to present our valedictorian and salutatorian tonight. Our valedictorian is Jane, Chase Melton, and our salutatorian is Monica Pleasant. Thank you. We'll give them a round of applause. That's a great accomplishment, and we praise your efforts. Um, we'll move on to administrative reports, and tonight there are none. So we'll move on to board reports. We had our committee of the whole, and I'm going to give that report tonight. In the future, we can decide how we want that report given. We didn't appoint um, committee chairs. That's a discussion that we'll have later at a later date. Um, it was the election of officers. That that's what our meeting began with. Um, do I need to go through each and every one? Yeah. Okay. So um, Paul Johnson nominated Erin Birch, and by unanimous unanimous vote, she was I was voted as the president. Um, I nominated Deb Olson, unanimous vote. Deb was um, voted in as the vice president. Um, Paul Johnson was nominated by myself and another unanimous vote that he is our remaining our clerk, board clerk. Um, Deb Olson nominated Marsha Schurz as our treasurer and, and by unanimous vote, she is now our treasurer. Thank you to all the board members who've taken on new positions and remain the same and um, we look forward to a great year ahead. Um, and then our committee points of contact, we tabled until the June meeting when we address the structure of the committee of the whole. Presentations, we had no student, staff, and community recognitions. Our phone PA system recommendation was the next item on the agenda. Hugh Miller presented remotely. Um, he gave us a background and a timeline on the process, RFP criteria in the, in the evaluation process. The review team concluded that the recommendation is Cisco single wire solution um, proposed through Heartland Business Systems for $186,000 $487,000 which was significantly under budget. Um, discussion was that reviews from other districts and businesses who currently use this company, um, we talked about their ongoing costs and the actual cost being lower than what was budgeted for. Our consensus was to move it to this board meeting tonight. We discussed item C on our agenda was 2019-2020 um, open enrollment application. Shannon Grindell um, stated that the open enrollment application period was from February 4th to April 30th. She discussed the numbers the board approved in January and the denial and waitlist process. We talked about that these numbers were comparable of applications from previous years and the consensus was to move this to tonight's board meeting. We, uh, item D was the 2020-2021 school calendar. Mitch Ham discussed the committee process. Three calendars were sent out to staff. Two t calendars came back with tied results. Um, these two calendars were again sent out to staff for another vote. And the recommendation is that the board approve calendar th three, and that was the one that received the most votes when sent back out to staff. The consensus um, 
was to move to the regular board meeting tonight. We also considered district health insurance. Um, Ms. Grindell stated that we have, accept, have been accepted into the CCL 11 co-op for insurance. Premiums will drop in price by approximately 15%. The overall district savings is around 315,000. Deductibles will also drop. And the renewal date is of July 1. So that's exciting news and that consensus was moved to tonight's board meeting as well. We considered the soccer co-op. Um, Yeah, okay. okay. Um, Mr. Lucius stated that two years soccer co-op contract with Shell Lake is over this year. There have been very few to no soccer players from Shell Lake on the team the past two years and the recommendation is to have a standalone team. In the future we can renew the co-op at any time is, if necessary. This information has no board action um, and so the consensus from the board was to agree with the administrative recommendation to end the co-op. Item G was the board delegate to CISA 11 and Marsha Sherves was um, gracious enough to volunteer to go to that convention coming up in June. H was to consider the physical therapy services. Mitch Hamm um, stated that our physical therapy contract will end at the end of the year. RFPs were sent out and received three responses. The recommendation is to enter into a two-year contract with Spooner and Hayward Physical Health Therapy and Wellness for $2,500 per month. We've been working with them for the past several years and are satisfied with their service. Um, they're local and submitted the most effective proposal. Letter I, and that consensus was to move to tonight's board meeting. We discussed the PLC plan presentation. Dr. Aslan presented a plan overview regarding the phases, actions in each phase, and cost estimates for the implementation plan for SASD professional learning communities. The consensus was to move to this board meeting. We discussed the discussion and action section of school community relations. Um, we had presentations from each of the building principals and Mr. Lucius just giving a summary of the upcoming events. Graduation is this Friday night. Discussion and action for personnel. Um, we. The rest, I think, of these all fall under things that we've talked about. Mm -hmm. So the consolidation of the agenda and reviewing these minutes should be better in the future. Mm -hmm. um, and that concludes our minutes from the Committee of the Whole. Yes. All right, we're moving on to community comments. Per statu or Wisconsin Statute 19. Point 8.3 para 2 and 19.84 para 2, the board will allow public comments. The community comment session will be limited to 45 minutes. The time for each individual will be divided by the number of people signed up for community comments. The community comments section of the meeting agenda provides members of the community with the chance to speak directly to the school board. It is a valuable opportunity for community members to have questions, concerns, requests, and ideas heard directly by the school board and administration. Participants are asked to step up to the microphone so that everyone is able to hear. When you speak, providing your contact, when you speak, providing your contact information on the community concern sign up sheet helps the district follow up with you on your item. So if there's, there's nobody. Nobody is signed up tonight. Thank okay. you. All right, we're moving on to discussion and action items. Personnel recommendations. We have a number of personnel recommendations tonight. First for the resignations and retirement. Uh, you have Lucas Phelps, high school social studies, assistant football, assistant track coach, uh, three years of service as a resignation. Andrea Muraski, elementary paraprofessional, uh, retiring after 23 years of service. I'll take a motion to approve these resignations slash retirement. So moved. Second. Thank you. All those in favor? Aye. 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 I'd like to thank them for their service. Um, round of applause for Ms. Maraski and Mr. Phelps. The hiring recommendations are Jane Hale, evening custodian, replacing Bill Allard, recommended by Mrs. Grindell. Christine Knudsen, elementary school music teacher, replacing Dana Peterson, recommended by Mr. Hopke. 
Brittany Gormong, early childhood special education, and that is a uh, that is a long-term uh, ass assignment, replacing Amy Hansen. Uh, and uh, Mr. Ham is making the recommendation contingent upon the individual securing appropriate licensure. Uh, Kendra Hansen, uh, um, 4K teacher, uh, replacing Karen Nelson, recommended by Mr. Hopke. Jeremy Ott, secondary science, again, a long-term assignment uh, would be, uh, that's the assignment he's currently in is a long-term assignment, uh, recommended by Mr. Schurz. I'll take a motion for these hirings. I'll make the motion. Second. Awesome. I should ask any discussion. Reading that part. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. We'll move on to acceptance of donations. We have a long list of donations this evening. Um, You have a, a donation from Life Touch to the Spooner Elementary School, $313.20. A donation from TNT Tool to the Spooner Technology Education Department, $450 for Mastercam software and project materials. A donation from Nexon to the Spooner Technology Education Department for $450 for Mastercam software and project materials. A donation from Specialized Riding for Focus Grant to the Spooner Middle School Physical Education Department, 21 specialized mountain bikes, helmets, curriculum, maintenance and equipment and training at Specialized Headquarters in a value of $25,000. Spooner United Methodist Church, uh, a donation to a lunch count, a lunch count donation, $50.17. A donation from Spooner Youth Volleyball to the high school cross country squad, $210. A donation from Spooner Youth Volleyball to high school volleyball, $620. And the junior prom, and last year we read these and I would ask that you indulge me that we do this again because it's just wonderful, all the great donations that we had. For the junior prom, we had a donation from Banana Abstract, two $25 holiday gas cards. From the Palace Theater, two movie tickets. From Alley Cats, two $15 gift cards. From Trax Bar and Grill, $30 gift card. Greenfield Physical Therapy, six prize kits. The Doc, Round Man, Frappies and Smoothies. From Tiger Seifert, wood for hanging fabric. Spooner Middle School Phi Ed Department, three tables donated. Red Cross Pharmacy, two Spooner sweatshirts. Aero Building Center, plywood, screws and boards. Uh, from uh, Jerry Moore, all photos. From the school store, two blankets. From Tony's Riverside, $250. From Jerry Thompson, Benson's, $100. Vitamin source, two gift baskets. Reflections by Richardson, photography sessions. Hair Envy, gift certificate for tanning. Walmart, $25 gift card. Menards, lights and two trucks. Indian Head Credit Union, TV. Cornerstone Church. Lending glass drink dispensers. Spooner FFA, two batches of popcorn. Hubs Riverbend, one Friday fish fry gift certificate. Don Johnson's, two oil change certificates. Johnson Timber, one Yeti cooler and a $100 Visa gift card. Jack's Canoe and Tube Rental, four gift certificates for free tube rental. River Street Dental, teeth whitening. Top Wisconsin Properties, $100. Michael Knopke Dentistry, $50. Swan Built Homes, $100. Northern Paradise Realty of Trigo, $75. Becky Gager American Family, $50. Monarch Paving Company, $100. Hagen Electric, $100. Shell Lake Bank, $250. Anderson, Hager, and Moe, $75. The AODA grant, $400. Northview Eye Associates, LLC, $100. Johnson Timber, 
$100 Visa gift card. Michael Melendez of Ford, $250. Smith Sakonamart, $50 gift card for food. Kristen Vick, Pepsi, 24 pack Pepsi, Mountain Dew, Sierra Mist, and Diet Soda. Louis Finer Meats, $25 meat and cheese tray. Mobile gas station at Trigo, eight 20 pack cases of pop and five boxes of chips and Donnelly's, $4 per box for 10 pizza fries. I'll entertain a motion to approve these wonderful donations. I make a motion that we accept these incredible donations as stated and thank you to our community for your generosity. I'll second that. <clears throat> Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 And a round of applause for those great donations. Thank you. Item C is a fundraiser request. Well, a fundraiser request coming before you tonight from uh, from Coach Fiesel, Spooner Rail Football, for a deer stand raffle. Uh, he is looking uh, to do a uh, football team, a uh, football program looking to do a raffle for a deer stand starting in June. A uh, deer stand would be constructed and then individual squares would be uh, sold the raffle would run until the square board is filled. The winning ticket would likely be drawn at a home football game in 2019. Uh, anticipating the fundraiser to raise over $1,000 in money raised goes for general football equipment needed within the program. I'll entertain a motion to approve this fundraiser request. I make a motion that we approve this fundraiser request. I'll second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. There are no facility requests for out of district um, for profit organizations. We'll move on to E. The second reading of the high school recommended edits to policy 5451.01 and 5460.03. No, I'll make that motion. No changes. To okay. Yeah. I'll take a second. Motion with no changes. No changes. Did I hear a second? Mm -hmm. Any second. discussion? All those in favor? Say aye. 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 We'll move on to item F, the second reading of the Neola policy safety updates. Again, I'll make that motion with no changes. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Say aye. 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 And item G, consider phone PA system recommendations. I'll make the motion we accept the recommendation to purchase the Cisco um, Slingware Solution software from Heartland Business Systems for 186. For 87.07. A second? Second. Roll Any call. Roll call. We'll take a roll call vote on this one. Robert Mullen? Yes. Nathaniel Wilson? Yes. Kate McKinney? Yes. Deb Olson? Yes. Aaron Birch? Yes. Marcia Shears? Yes. Paul Johnson? Yes. <laughs> we'll move on to item H considering the 2019-2020 open enrollment applications. I'll take a motion to approve those open enrollment applications. I so move. And a second? I'll, I'll second. second. Either way. <laughs> Any discussion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Motion passes. I've been forgetting that too. All right, we're going to move on to item I, letter I. Consider the 2020 2021 school calendar. I'll take a motion to approve the 2020 2021 school calendar. I'll make the motion that we accept calendar choice number three that was recommended by our administration. I'll second. Any, Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor? Aye. 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 
Motion passes. All those opposed? Are there any opposed? Okay. We'll move on to J to consider the district health insurance change. Do I have a motion? I'll make the motion as presented by um, our business manager at the COW. Second. Any discussion? We're going to take a roll call vote on this one. Yes. Yes. Is this one I need to abstain from? <laughs> Being uh, my spouse is at the middle school. Yes. Yep. I'll abstain from voting. Deb Olson? Yes. Eric Yes. Marcia Schurz? Abstain. Johnson? Yes. Yeah. All right. Motion passes. We'll move on to item K. Consider the physical therapy services. I'll make a motion that we accept the physical therapy um, services that were presented and were recommended by uh, Dr. Aslan at our cow. Second. Any discussion? We'll do a roll call vote on this one. Yes. 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 Marcia Yes. Paul Johnson. Yes. Our next item is to consider the PLC plan presented by Dr. Aslan at the Committee of the Whole. I'll take a motion for that. I'll make that motion. I'll second. Any discussion? Can I jump here? So yeah. what we'd be seeking approval from you on is the uh, quote that is attached. So that that is the material and services uh, for phase two and three of the plan as it was briefed at the committee of the whole. And is, can you answer, the one question I had was the on-site professional development. Is that for two people coming into the that, district? That'll be one person uh, coming two different times. Okay. Yes. Okay. Do we have to announce the total cost of this before we vote? I, I, I think you'd be fine to do okay, that. The total cost on this is $29,196. All right, is there any further discussion? Has it been budgeted for? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay, all those in, do you want a roll call vote on this one? You're, you're going to need a roll we'll call. We'll do a roll call vote. Robert Holman? Yes. Nathaniel Nelson? Yes. Kate McKinney? Yes. Deb Olson? Yes. Eric Birch? Yes. Marcia Schurz? Yes. Paul Johnson? Yes. Okay, we're going to convene into closed session at this time. I'll entertain a motion to convene into closed session. I make that motion. Second. Um, any discussion? We need a roll call vote for that. Robert Holland? Yes. Nelson? Yes. Kate yes. Johnny Yes. 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 Okay. Pursuant to Wisconsin Statute 19.85, parent 1, parent C, to consider the employment, promotion, compensation, or performance evaluation data of any public employee over which the government body has jurisdiction or exercises responsibility. We'll now convene into closed session. We're going to reconvene into open session. And that's that. 638. Um, I'll take a motion or I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. I make a motion that we adjourn. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thanks, everybody. All right. Thank you. Thank you.